On September 28, 2022, Hurricane Ian made landfall west of Fort Myers, Florida, devastating the area and becoming the third costliest weather disaster on record. Here are the stories of three homeowners who had Owens Corning shingles on their roofs. Uh, Ian is the worst storm we've been through. It's an, just an experience I've never had. And I'm a meteorologist, I've covered so many named storms. Uh, but this is something I'd never seen, this kind of storm surge, and then what happens afterwards. Hi, I'm Dave Yannikaff, and I'm a licensed residential builder back in Michigan, and my wife and I own a house here on Fort Myers Beach uh, since 1989. When uh, we were back in Michigan and heard the storm was coming towards Fort Myers Beach, I just loaded my truck up with material and, and uh, got ready to come down. It took us nine days before we could get on the island to see the damage and um, we were just kind of taken back by what we saw. But we, and we were so happy when, uh, again, when we saw our roof still there, um, and the neighbor's shingles missing and uh, metal flying off. It, uh, we were just real happy to, to, to see what we saw. The shingle that I use is uh, Owens Corning Oak Ridge and that's what I have on my house here. I've been in business for probably 35, 36 years and I've used other shingles and I've had a lot of issues with other companies and I've never had an issue with Owens Corning shingles. I've got them on my own home, I've got them on apartments that we own um, and I also use that back in Michigan and I've had no trouble with them whatsoever. I love the shingles and not one of them was missing off of my roof, not one shingle. Uh, my name is Dan Norton. I'm the broker and the owner of Key Real Estate Advisors. Uh, we're a local property management company for Fort Myers, Florida, and we manage these four apartment complex buildings right here. In, uh, in early February, we had a uh, storm front come through. Uh, it caused a tornado that came right down two buildings, completely destroyed all the roofs on all of them. Uh, when that happened, we ended up uh, replacing, had to replace all the roofs, and our contractor had suggested that we use Owens Corning Duration. Six months later, we have a Category 5 hurricane hit, sat on us for four hours. So we have this same complex, four unit, 28 uh, unit complex, a mile down the road. And when I went to go check on that building, which I checked on first, uh, the Coast Guard was there pulling the tenants out of, out of the units by boats because it was just completely submerged at the time. So when I got here, I was coming around the corner not knowing what to expect. Uh, when you come in from the road here and you look at the back of the buildings, you look at, we saw the ones that were completely destroyed as far as the roofs. Uh, but when I turned the corner and you got to see the ones on the left, it was, it was a good surprise. Probably one of the only good things to have was to see that the roofs completely held up uh, when you had that massive amount of wind that we had during that storm. All the roofs that were not replaced with it were completely destroyed uh, and then the, the two that we had were completely fine with minimal damage at all. So I'm Janine Albert. I'm, I have a family of five here. My husband TJ, I have twin boys, are in high school. My daughter just left for college. Uh, we have been in Benita Springs only two years, but lived in Naples, which is just a few miles away, uh, since I was in high school. So we have, we've been through a lot of storms here. So we bought this house in 2020, and as soon as we had it inspected, we realized the roof was original from 1987. So our contractor recommended Owens Corning Duration. Uh, he said it would be the best product. 
Naples is just to our south, we're in Bonita Springs, and then north of us is Fort Myers, which is where Hurricane Ian made landfall officially. On Tuesday, it was obvious Hurricane Ian was taking a turn that was gonna put us in danger. So we had about 24 hours to clear out everything at the lowest level, we're at eight foot elevation, so we knew there was gonna be seawater, absolutely. So everything valuable on this level, we had to move upstairs. So our jewelry, our photo albums, our, our best furniture, all of those things were upstairs. So because the roof stayed intact, all of those things were safe. But about a week after Hurricane Ian, we had our first inspector come from our insurance company. And we had obviously siding and other problems to the outer part of the home and to the ground level. But when they went up and saw the roof, their report was amazing. They said that there was no problem at all with the roof, that it survived completely intact. But if the roof would have been damaged and water would have intruded, those things would have been damaged. And it was just one less thing that I had to worry about. It was one less contractor that I had to hire. It was less money that we had to spend out of pocket fixing the damage. In the lab, Owens Corning shingles undergo rigorous testing, simulating performance in high wind in other conditions, with duration in Oak Ridge shingles outperforming top competitors. These three stories show examples of real-life shingle performance against a destructive hurricane, Hurricane Ian. Owens Corning, giving many Florida families a moment of much-needed relief. Owens Corning, more than just a roof.